Hey everybody, I'm Bill, Cranky Cook 2022. I don't know if you've seen the movie The Menu yet, but I would highly recommend it. Uh, it's a movie that does a great job of poking fun at the high-end restaurant business. Uh, and uh, it's got quite a few twists and turns in it. Um, and there's a number of really interesting dishes that they serve to the clients of this restaurant. But there's one dish that sticks out in people's minds the most, and that is the cheeseburger. Now, I'm not going to explain to you how a cheeseburger winds up in a high-end dining establishment, but when the movie came out, Twitter was literally on fire trying to figure out how to make this burger. So, we did some snooping around, and the gentleman who contributed the burger recipe to the movie is from a restaurant called Starland Yard in Savannah, Georgia. We found out exactly the recipe they used to make the burger, and we're going to show you how to do that now. The ingredients that we have are really very simple. Uh, we have two slices of American cheese. We have a yellow onion, very thinly sliced. We have some pickle chips. We have some burger sauce, which is really just equal parts of mayonnaise and ketchup. Uh, we have a seeded bun, and we have two burger balls. Now, these burger balls are three ounces each of 80-20 ground beef. Uh, we form them into a ball, but we have left them rather loose. You can notice by looking at them, you can still see the strands of meat, uh, and that's the way we want it. Um, we don't want them too tightly compressed. So... That's it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our burger balls and we're going to throw them in the freezer for about 10 minutes. I should point out that you may want to unplug your smoke detector for this recipe. While our burger balls are in the freezer, just a couple more things we need to point out. There are two items that you are going to need that are very important. Uh, one of them is a cast iron skillet and the other is a very very thin but very sturdy metal spatula. Uh, like I said, unplug the smoke detector if you can, turn on the fan, open the windows. It's going to get a little smoky in here because we are going to use that cast iron skillet on a very high heat to cook these burgers. So let's see how our buns are coming along. Okay, our buns have we'll been toasting for about two minutes, getting nice and golden brown. We're going to take them out. We're going to put them off on the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our skillet and we're going to wipe it out with a paper towel because this is going to get very hot, as I mentioned. And we're not adding anything to the pan. No butter, no oil, uh, and we don't want the butter that's in there from toasting the buns to burn. Our skillet is getting very hot. And we're going to drop our burger balls in. And we're going to take our take our spatula. And here comes the smoke, folks. And there we go. Nice and flat. And we're going to leave them for two minutes like that. And while they're cooking. Put some of those onions on top. Okay. We are also going to take our bun on the bottom side. We're going to add our sauce. We're going to add a nice dollop of our sauce on the bottom side. And on the top side, we're going to add our pickles. Okay, that is two minutes. We got a, when, when you, see I really screwed that one up. When you flip this burger, you really got to scrape. That's why we needed the hard metal spatula. You really want to scrape all those delicious brown bits and get them up with the burger. That one came out perfectly. Look at how nice and crispy that is. The onions are now under there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our two pieces of cheese, put them on top, 
and we are going to let this cook until the ends of the cheese flop over and start to get that fried egg look to them. Now, again, you got to scrape as much as you can because we're going to get those onions up with the burger and we want to get all that crispy goodness off the bottom of the pan. I cannot wait to show you what this looks like. And there you have it. Quite easy, quite simple. We're gonna, I want you to take a look at that. That is just magnificent looking. An absolutely delicious burger. It has everything going for it. It's got that beautiful soft bun. It's got the crispiness of the burger. It's got the crispiness of the pickle chips, the flavor of those onions, and the sauce that we put on it is just delicious. If you haven't seen the movie, The Menu, I would highly recommend it. It's a fun film. And if you live near Savannah, Georgia, I would highly recommend going by Starland Yard and get one of their original burgers. Anyway, I'm Bill, Cranky Cook 2022. Don't forget to press the buttons. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. Uh, we will see you next time. Signing out with the cheeseburger from the movie The Menu. See you next time. Hmm. I gotta make another one.